Are you looking to apply to a PA school and want to know the PA school requirements that most physician assistant programs in the United States and Canada expect of their applicants? In this video, I'll provide you with information that will guide your journey to becoming a PA, such as how to research PA school requirements, study tips, and the application process. Hi, my name is Joseph Kafka, and I'm an admissions associate here at BMO. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. If you would like us to help you get into your top choice PA program, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. And as a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate to specific sections of the video that you're interested in. Here's everything we're going to cover on PA school requirements. How to research PA school requirements, undergraduate degree and prerequisites, GPA requirements, study tips, GRE scores, CASPER, extracurriculars, the PA personal essay, recommendation letters, the interview format, and finally, the application process. Getting accepted to PA programs is not easy. According to the latest data, the overall PA school acceptance rate in the United States is 31.6%, compared with about 40% acceptance rate for medical schools. There are over 290 PA programs in the United States and four in Canada, each with its own requirements and expectations. If you are deciding between PA versus MD, or just looking to gain more information about what is required of both types of matriculants, it is a good idea to familiarize yourself with the general admissions requirements of both professions. If you are applying in Canada, it's best to look at the admissions requirements of every Canadian medical school and every PA program that interests you. If you're applying in the United States, learn how to use MSAR to select the best medical schools for you and check out the Physician Assistant Education Association or PAEA program directory to research PA schools in the United States. The PAEA database provides all the necessary information regarding PA school requirements, including the program's mission, prerequisites, GPA and GRE scores, tuition, clinical experience, letters of recommendation, and more. While you research, reflect on how your own experiences and achievements fit in with the programs you review. For instance, ask yourself these questions. Do you need to improve your GPA? Do you need more clinical hours under your belt? Have you considered who you can ask for a reference letter? Use the database to compare the programs and choose the program that is right for you. And while each school in Canada or the US will have its own expectations, let's review some general requirements all PA schools have. Just like medical schools, PA programs do not expect applicants to major in any particular discipline during their undergrad. You can pursue a course of study that interests you and the one you excel in. Remember, you must achieve a high GPA to be competitive, and the best way to do this is to study what you enjoy. As you are completing your undergraduate degree, don't forget to make room for the necessary PA prerequisites. There are some courses that you must take to ensure that your application will be reviewed. These are not unlike medical school prerequisites. Chemistry with lab, anatomy and physiology with lab, microbiology with lab, statistics, psychology. Many schools may also ask for additional coursework that will prepare you for the PA program. While these tend to be recommended rather than required, having these courses in your transcript could give you an advantage. General biology, genetics, organic chemistry, biochemistry, social science courses, and languages. As I mentioned, each school will have its own list of mandatory courses. Most will require you to take undergraduate courses that are upper rather than lower level. However, I strongly advise you to take the upper level courses that are offered in your college. While this does not guarantee you an acceptance, it at least eliminates the chances that having lower level courses will be used against you in the application process. Check the GPA expectations of your programs of choice before you apply and keep track of your GPA in each category as you prepare for your applications. And since PA programs do not care about which discipline you study in your undergrad, why not major in something you excel in and take courses you know you will ace? I highly recommend pursuing a course of study you truly enjoy. On that note, here are some tips that can help you increase your science, BCP, and non-science GPAs. Setting up a study plan will keep you on track. 
especially in courses you find challenging. Dedicating a set amount of time to courses you're struggling with can help you improve your grades. If you find that you struggle with certain course material, you may want to ask for help from your instructor. Most schools will also have on-campus services that can help you get the support you need. Check out your school's website to see if any such services are available. Study groups can create a supportive environment where you feel free to ask questions, take risks, and get more comfortable with the subject matter. Getting the help of a professional can help you increase your GPA. These people are trained to help you understand challenging material. To apply to physician's assistant programs in America, you will need to write your Graduate Record Examination, or GRE. GRE tests students' verbal reasoning skills, critical thinking, and analytical writing skills. It is composed of three sections. This is a single section with two separately timed writing tasks, with 30 minutes per task. This section is composed of two 30-minute sections with 20 questions per section. This section is composed of two 35-minute sections with 20 questions per section. The test takes about four hours to complete. You can take the test every 21 days up to five times within a continuous 12-month period. So you can retake the test to improve your score. In fact, you're encouraged to do so. A growing number of PA programs require their applicants to take the CASPER test. If you're unfamiliar with this test format, CASPER is an online situational judgment test that aims to assess your suitability for professional programs. To start your prep and learn more about the CASPER, review our blog, How to Prepare for CASPER. This detailed article will provide you with everything you need to know about this test. PA applicants are expected to demonstrate versatility, community engagement, and altruism by participating in a variety of extracurricular activities. In fact, PA applicants are expected to have much more clinical experience than their MD counterparts. As a PA candidate, you should aim to have at least 2,000 hours of hands-on patient experience at the time of application. This is 20 times more than the number of shadowing hours required for medical school. So start earning those hours as soon as you can. You can do this by first reaching out to your local hospitals and retirement homes to see if they are looking for any volunteers. If you are a current student or a graduate looking to get more clinical hours, here are some options you can consider. Become a Certified Nursing Assistant or CNA. Volunteer as an emergency medical technician. Become a caretaker. Volunteer at a hospice. Now, don't forget that PA programs also look at your other experiences and skills that demonstrate your suitability for PA programs, such as leadership, research, community service, and hobbies. It's a good idea then to keep a log of your activities and hours. If you are still in your undergrad, start writing down this information now. It will be easier to recall which activities you participated in and what you would like to highlight in your PA application and essays. Your PA personal essay is the application component that can really make you shine as a candidate. While your grades, scores, volunteer hours, and prerequisites show that you've done your homework to complete all the necessary admissions requirements, your personal statement makes your application come alive. Your personal essay will demonstrate your background and environment, values, and objectives. Doing this in 5,000 characters or less is not an easy task. This is why it's important to start writing your essay early. Remember to demonstrate how these events or experiences impacted your decision to become a physician assistant and try to create a cohesive, captivating narrative. Check out our blog for samples. Recommendation letters are extremely important components of your PA application. They provide an objective assessment of your skills, experiences, and personality. Each PA program has its own recommendation requirements. So pay attention to the recommendations specifications of each program you apply to and carefully plan who will be your referees and how will you ask them to be your recommenders. And the number one recommendation letter rule to remember is that your letters must be outstanding. You cannot submit references that are lukewarm or mediocre. When you approach potential referees about writing your PA recommendation letter, make sure they show absolute support and enthusiasm about your plans. Whether you approach each referee personally, through email, or by phone, make sure to ask them specifically for a strong letter of reference. If they agree, provide them with anything that can help them write the letter, such as your transcripts, CV, GRE score, PA personal statement, 
list of awards and recognitions, and so on. There's a variety of interview formats used by PA programs to screen their applicants. Typically, if you receive an interview invite from a PA school, the email will contain all the necessary information about your interview, including its format, date, and location. To get ready for your interview, go over PA school interview questions you may encounter. I've provided several links in the description to help you prep for common questions such as, tell me about yourself, and what is your greatest weakness, as well as how to get ready for MMI interviews. Many PA programs in the United States participate in the Centralized Application Service for Physician Assistance, or CASPA. However, check if your program of choice requires you to apply to the individual programs directly. If you are applying to programs participating in CASPA, you must submit your application through the CASPA website. To learn more about CASPA and the CASPA deadlines, check out our blog. This wraps up our video for today. Check out our blog to learn more about becoming a physician assistant, including frequently asked questions and other resources. I have included a link in the description of this video so you can find the blog easily. If you would like us to help you get into your top choice PA program, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. If you have any questions about becoming a PA that I didn't cover in this video, let me know in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.